Hello and, Hello and welcome to Yamaha's M7CL 48ES. My name is Sina Denhardt. During this quick movie, I will introduce to you some of the unique functions and abilities of an audio system with M7CL 48ES at its heart. The M7CL 48ES was introduced earlier in 2010, adding to Yamaha's M7 range, the world's favorite line of professional digital mixers. It has the same well-loved fader layout with no hidden banks or layers of inputs, the same 27 output bus structure, and 8 DCA faders and the same comprehensive processing for parametric and graphic EQs, compressors, gates and rich variety of internal effects. Looking at the console's surface and thinking about the method of operation, there is basically no difference between this new version and the original. To spot the difference, you need to look at the rear panel. There you will see that most of the mic inputs have disappeared. That's because the ES version was designed to be used with remote stage box units like the SB16-8 ES. Up to three of these units can be daisy-chained with Cat5 cables from the EtherSound out connection which is integrated into the rear panel. One Cat5 cable will carry all 48 input channels from stage to the mixer and return a further 16 channels from the mixer back to stage. It will work with distances up to 100 meters between each stage box, means totally up to 300 meters, depending on the spec of the cable. A further Cat5 cable can be connected to make a redundant ring, and rugged Mucic connectors can be used. Generic Ethernet to fiber optic converters can be used to increase the cable distance to several kilometers. The third EtherSound port here is for computer connection, to monitor the status of the network. Setup, by the way, is automatic. You don't need a computer to configure the stage box to mix the communication. This third port has another trick up its sleeve, more about that later. Notice that the M7CL48ES still has 8 analog inputs and 8 analog outputs, a digital 2-track output and 3 MY card slots providing up to 48 extra inputs and outputs. That means a whole range of audio equipment can be connected locally, and other types of audio networks can be connected, Dante or CobraNet, for example. Coinciding with the launch of M7CL48ES, Yamaha released version 3 update for the whole M7 console range. This includes several new effects, using Yamaha's VCM technology, which are accurate digital copies of classic analog gear. You can find new compressors, both valve and solid-state types, and tape saturation effects. Also, version 3 includes updates for the recall safe features, talkback patching and fast access to the sends on fader mode, using the selected channel knobs. Studio Manager has also been upgraded to allow sends on fader mode, making the use of a wireless tablet PC even more attractive. Talking of which, Yamaha has recently announced the new Stage Mix app for iPad. This offers a new degree of wireless touchscreen control. Multiple fingers can be used to adjust several faders at once, and the pinch gesture can be used for EQ editing. The iPad connects to the mixer via a standard Wi-Fi access point and a Cat5 cable. It is designed primarily for mixing monitors from the stage. The engineer can move around while adjusting sends on faders, channel EQs, levels and mutes. At the same time, he can keep a track of the signal levels and the channel names on the iPad screen, allowing the engineer to react much quicker to the requests coming from the musicians. Download Stage Mix from the iTunes App Store available since autumn 2010. Another new feature is the EtherSound ASIO streamer. Just connect a Cat5 cable from the console's third EtherSound port to a PC running ASIO compatible software, and the system will provide 48 channels of recording and playback.
Use it for recording a live show and for virtual sound checks. Additionally, 16 channels from the console's outputs can be recorded. That's 64 channels totally, assuming your computer is powerful and fast enough. Yamaha recommends the latest versions of Steinberg Nuendo and Cubase as suitable digital audio workstation software. In recent years, there has been a huge growth in the popularity of plug-in effects for use in recording and production studios. One company at the forefront of this development is Waves, and now their effects and processes are available to use live with Yamaha mixers. What you need is one or two Waves Y16 cards, a sound grid server that can process literally hundreds of plugins, an Ethernet switch and a PC or Mac to run the Multirack software. Now up to 32 audio channels can have Waves plugins inserted such as the Renaissance series, the Studio Classics, the Ultra Maximizer and Vocal Rider. Each channel can have up to eight plugins in a chain. By the way, these Waves products work with Yamaha's whole actual range of digital mixers. Some people think that audio networking is complicated and difficult to manage. Well, it doesn't have to be that way, and that's why Yamaha has developed the Union concept. Union integrates or unites different technologies for live audio events, including mixing, recording, amplification, lighting, and even some video. Working with a small number of highly skilled third-party companies, Yamaha has designed a series of turnkey systems with audio networking at its core, but with the freedom to integrate other technologies. Union is networking simplified and available to all. It will save time, space, energy and money when compared with old analog and non-integrated infrastructures. In this example, we use EtherSound to link some SB168ES stage boxes to the front-of-house mixer M7CL48ES. We could add a separate monitor console, such as LS9, equipped with an EtherSound card. Then we could add an amp rack including a Yamaha EtherSound DME to provide the speaker processing. We call this type of rack NEOS, Networked Integrated Output System. All the components are now connected in a CAT5 ring. Add an Ethernet switch or two so that Wave Sound Grid plugins can be used. Dante networks can be added to link with computer recording systems or other amplifier networks. Add a Wi Fi point, and an iPad or studio manager can be used to remotely control the mixers and speaker processes. The spare ports on the Cybertech switch can be used for other Ethernet data or even IP video for enhanced communications. A DMX Ethernet converter can optionally be added to the rugged rack mount switch. The beautiful thing is that this switch does not need any user intervention. It is tried and tested, includes a redundant link and is pre-configured to just work. It keeps networking simple and risk-free. Overall, I'm sure you'll now agree that M7CL48ES is not just another digital mixer from Yamaha. It is the next step in the audio networking revolution and it's ready to grow with your future.